This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. Prophecy comes to do what? To stir you up for what? For good works. There are things you couldn't do. But when you receive a prophetic word, you start doing them. And God came and told you, you're going to build a business that worth millions of dollars. And you said, where am I going to get that kind of money from? <laughs> That's what he said. Where am I going to get that kind of money from? No, don't ask, where are you going to get that kind of money from? Receive the word. Say Amen. You don't reason that prophecy. You believe prophecy. <laughs> because it's a word from God. It's on a mission to change your situation. Because prophecy is a word from God. It's on a mission to change your situation. Now look at this. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15 verse 8. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 8. And when Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Obed and the prophecy of Obed the prophet he took courage. So prophecy brings courage. <laughs> Nothing restores hope like a prophecy from God. I said, nothing restores hope like a prophecy from God. Nothing restores hope like a prophecy from God. Nothing restores hope. You just look at your life and say, what am I going to do with my life? And suddenly you came to service. And the word came that in this city you prosper. That's not an ordinary word. Don't treat prophecy with negligence. Treat prophecy with understanding and wisdom. Don't have the negligence, the, the neglect attitude and said, I've heard that before. When you despise prophecy, there is no place for your faith to connect with it. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? When you despise prophecy, there is no place for your faith to connect with it. Your faith only connects with the prophecy when you believe the prophecy. God have told me he's going to do great things in our ministry. I know that that's why I've taken my seat. <laughs> I've taken my seat. Though. God told me the things he would do here. And around the ministry. People wonder what is going on. When God speaks to you, it is the value you place on it that will determine the attention you give to it. When God speaks to you, it is the value you place on it will determine the attention you give to it. People give attention to something they value. What you don't value you can't give attention to. But what you give attention to must be something you value. So prophecy helps you to re-engineer your life. You re-engineer your life by prophecy. Your vision, your destiny can be re-engineered by the force of prophecy. He said, and when Esau heard these words, and the prophecy of Obed the prophet, he took courage and removed the abominable idols from all the land of Judah and Benjamin from the cities, which he has taken in the mountains of Ephraim, and he restored the altar of the Lord that was before. He restored. So prophecy can unlock restoration. When a man receives the word, we saw that prophecy brought courage. 
The courage to face the situation. There are certain people they can't face certain things because the courage to face it is not there. So prophecy brings the courage. Somebody tell you, I'm not going to help you. Oh, it's no problem. Like somebody told us, said, he told people, if you, if you leave me, I increase. If you touch me, I multiply. And I bought into it. I said, that's a very good word. He said, leave me, I increase. You touch me, I multiply. <laughs> I said, that's powerful. Prophecy makes you see. Here, he started seeing courage. A prophetic word comes to you and said, that ministry in your hands will not die in your hands. It will grow. It will flourish. And right now you look in the natural, there is nothing much to see. How many people quit on God when they were very close to their season of manifestation? Obama could go this side. 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 Boy, go this side. Let's go this side. Let's go this side. No, we go by the Spirit. We don't go in the flesh. Don't get moved by what you see, but led by the Holy Ghost. If you're led by the Spirit, you'll be ahead of situations. If you're led by your needs, situations will mess up your vision. Be led by the Spirit. That's what has kept me here all these years. So be led by the Holy Ghost. When I had offer to go and live in the U.S. many years ago, and God said, my son, don't touch it. Beautiful offer. You know what it means for somebody to buy you a house in the U.S.? There are temptations that you can live overcome by the help of the Spirit. Some people have never even seen that offer. Said, ah, we'll give you 20,000 naira. Yeah. Ah, they don't run for 20,000 naira. We're talking about offer that worth more than a million dollar. A million dollar exchange rate is over 700 and 40 million naira. 740 million naira. Somebody was willing to invest in my life. And I went to pray. God said, leave it. Don't touch it. And that period, I don't have my own house. <laughs> I don't even have a property for church. You know what I mean? So the temptation, it was, a, it was the right time. <laughs> So you can just jump into it. There are things people have jumped into and drowned. If you're not led, you're going to be loose. The purpose of hearing from God is to secure your focus. The purpose of hearing from God is to secure your focus. You secure your focus by hearing from God. And prophecy is one of the ways we hear from God. I said prophecy is one of the channels in which we hear from God. I said prophecy is one of the channels in which we hear from God. It's one of the key channels. But it's not every prophecy we hear that is from God. That will lead us to the next part of looking at prophecy that every prophecy has to be judged in the light of God's word. Every prophecy. Because it comes from human vessels, it has to be judged in the light of the word of God. I said every prophecy has to be judged in the light of God's word because it flows through human vessel. Like we have said here several times that every manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit has to be judged with God's word because it flows from human vessels and human vessels are not perfect, they can miss it. Some will go to the house of Jesse and miss it. They thought it was his first son. He said, it's like this man. God said, it be the man. A prophet can miss it. Hallelujah. So that is why we judge prophecies. We judge the fruit in the life of the one prophesying. You have to judge the fruit of the person prophesying to you. What kind of life does he live? 
You have to also judge what you're hearing. But you can't judge it if you don't know the word of God. Somebody just told somebody that there are witches that want to kill you from your village. That one is not prophecy. I said it's not prophecy. It may be another thing, but not prophecy. Because prophecy is for exaltation, for edification, and for comfort. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying right now? Now, let me say this to you. When you keep studying God's word, you'll be able to judge the things you hear and see. If you keep studying the word of God, Romans 12 verse 2 said, Romans 12 verse 2, he said, we should not be conformed to this world, but we should be transformed by the renewing of our mind. It is to the degree your mind is renewed with God's word, you can judge the things you're hearing and the things you're seeing. You can just walk into a place and somebody just give you a false word. What is a false word? A word that has no bearing in God's word and a word that has no bearing with the spirit of God that resides inside of you. He said your spirit will bear a witness. If you hear something, whether it's from me or from anybody, and your spirit doesn't bear witness, leave it. Did you hear what I said? Your spirit must bear witness that what you just said is the voice of God. What you just said is what? Is the voice of God. But you see, if you're not renewing your mind with God's word, you won't be able to connect with God's voice. I just said something now. I said, if you're not renewing your mind with God's word, which is the logos, the written word, you won't be able to hear the spoken word. And even if you hear it, you cannot be able to host it, to receive it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why should I renew my mind with God's word? I renew my mind with God's word to hear, to see, and to know. To hear, to see, and to know. I, I, why should you renew your mind with the word of God? To be able to hear, to be able to see, to be able to know. You, you, renewing your mind with the word of God positions you to reign in life. Hallelujah. The word works. What works? The word of God works. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is life changing. The word of God is, it breaks yoke. It changes situations. So prophecy is an inspired utterance that energizes you to do the impossible. It energizes you to do the impossible. Bible talk, told us not to despise prophecies, but to judge them. Amen? To judge. Because this year you're going to do great things. So. I didn't hear him well. <laughs> That's a prophecy. <laughs> you know, sometimes we used to think that prophecy is only when you say, Ooh, ooh, thus say the Lord. <laughs> God can be found in conversation. Somebody can say something in person, it was the voice of God in your head. Hey! Somebody can just say something, it was the voice of God that you just heard to the degree you are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit will determine how you make the connection. If I'm sensitive to the voice of God, I can make the connection. I can be able to know what the Spirit of God is saying to me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I said this day you do big things. I said this day you do big things. This is the month of, sorry, this is the month of February, but from this February, you begin to see possibilities. 
from this February you begin to see expressions of help that you have never seen before watch this you begin to see people coming into your life said what can I do for you how do I help you with this vision how do I support you people will go extra mile to make your dreams come to pass can I say this to you this is the year that you will see visible fruit of the years of prayer I want to say that again. I said, this is the year where you will see the visible fruits of prayer. There are things you have been praying about. But this year, you will see the visible fruits of prayer. And how is it going to happen by what you're hearing right now? He said, believe the Lord your God will be established. He said, believe the prophet will happen. He said, you will prosper. That simply means prosperity can come by taking the word of the prophet and said, this thing will happen for me this year, this year, this year, this year. I prophesy to you that harvest will come from places you never expected. I prophesy to you what you consider impossible is not possible. That's a word for somebody right now. That's a prophecy for you right now. What you considered impossible is now possible. Whatever you consider impossible five years ago, five months ago, two months ago, three months ago, it is now possible. Receive possibility of that which you've been believing God for in the name of Jesus. Manifestations of the impossible have started manifestations of what people say is impossible they say this cannot happen they say this is not possible the money is not there they don't have the money but i prophesy to you today you are stepping into a rest you are stepping into a rest in the name of jesus you are stepping into a rest Jesus, uh, you are stepping into a season of rest uh, and from today a little labor much fruit a little labor much fruit a little labor much resort a little labor much increase coming with it in the name of Jesus I heard the Lord said you will not be stranded there is somebody here that's your prophetic word. I heard God said, you will not be stranded. You're asking yourself, how do I get this money? How do I do this? How do I do that? Then the Lord said, you will not be stranded. <laughs> hey, you will not be stranded. Your life will never be a shame or a mockery. It can only be an inspiration. That's a word for somebody right now. Your life can only be an inspiration. When people look at you, they say, wow, what is it? How is he getting the results? How is he getting help? How is he getting this kind of things? Well, see, your results cannot be explained. Nobody will take glory for what God is doing in your life. I prophesy to you that you will see help far beyond your expectation. The things that you have been considering to do, I wish I have money I could have done this you have been considering to do it I wish I have money I wish I have money if I have money if I have money look at the money look at the money <laughs> that's the word of the Lord look at the money the fish that is carrying the money has come to your house the fish that is carrying the money has come to your house the fish carrying the money <laughs> uh, when God told me something many years ago he said you will not move around you will be here and pay for everything You'll be here inside this room. That's where you'll be. You will not move around. You know, you'll be here. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. You'll be here. Just here. Somebody will even consider you lazy. 
but they will see massive results. You can't hear from God and miss way. Hey, you cannot hear from God and miss your way. If a man hears from God, he will not miss his way. Hey, Makuri Katababa, Re Tomazakatala Bragada. He said it's not by mind, it's not by power, but by the Spirit. And when the Spirit gives you an instruction, that is your direction. When the Spirit gives you an instruction, that is your direction. When the Spirit gives you an instruction, if you say you don't know what to do, you're correct. He knows what you should do. Just hook up with him. He will show you steps to take. Hmm. He will show you the first step to take. The second step to take. And somebody will be wondering, how is it happening? By the Spirit. I told you two ways we'll do life. Either by your strength or by the strength of the Spirit. It's either you're going to do life by your strength as a man or as a woman. But that is doing life by the Spirit. If you're going to do life by the Spirit, that simply means you're qualified for prophecy. Prophecy is for people who wants to do life by the Spirit. You are serving in the choir. You're pouring yourself out. And some people look at you and say, you're not serious with your life. Nobody who is serving God who is not serious with his life. By serving God means you're serious with your life. It is not serving God that means you're not serious with your life. <laughs> because I say, by strength shall no man prevail. In one day, a visitation from God. <laughs> I prophesy to you, you'll be a thousand times more. Deuteronomy 1 verse 10 to 11. A thousand times more. You will produce results in places where people failed. Nothing grew there but the hand of God. How, how do you explain the hand of God? They said it's small, but his hands. I'm used to the hands of God, I'm used to seeing his hands. When the hand of God is on what you do, it's not about the number of what you have. What makes it dif what, what makes the difference? The difference is that God puts his hand on it. That hand is the picture, the symbol of prosperity. This evening, God is putting his hand on that job. Is putting his hand on your life. And those that know you, <laughs> hey, receive a new identity. Hmm. There is a rhyme. That a man steps into. And people that know him change how they see him. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. They know you. They know a particular way you used to come. They know a particular way you used to carry yourself. But hear ye the word of the Lord. There is a shift. The joy of the hand of God is to put you ahead of every imagination how you have been imagined. There is how they look at you. They look at your family. They look at your mother. They look at your... They know you people. There are people that know your family. There are people that know that nobody's there. But this meeting is making you somebody. 
the things you considered impossible watch the hand of God come upon you with the spirit of courage to possess the inheritance you will exceed the expectation if God did it in my life he will repeat it in yours he will repeat it in that everybody here in the name of Jesus God will turn your life around the folks will look at it and say how did this happen they can't explain it the more they look the more they see this is not the more they look the less they see this is the more they look the more they see they are looking as they look more showed up as they look more showed up as, oh my god your testimony will become a reference point for preaching Jesus said to Mary Mandalene wherever this gospel is preached You'll be remembered. He didn't say wherever this gospel preach, Peter will be remembered. Paul will be remembered. Andrew. No. Wherever the gospel is preached, you'll be remembered. <laughs> I prophesy tonight. Let your destiny begin to experience supernatural expression. I call forth manifestation of the greatness in you makade bridaya katala meyankuma lengrado sakababa may you outrun your contemporaries hey may you be ahead of your contemporaries when your contemporaries look at you they know you are a leader in their midst Helped by the Spirit, extapped by the Spirit, empowered by the Spirit, accelerated by the Spirit. I prophesy to you, you are the head and not the tail, you are the lender and not the borrower. I prophesy to you, your going out is blessed, your coming in is blessed. Like a city set on the hill. You are the city set on the hill. No drought. No lack. Your supply will exceed your need. Your provision will exceed your situation. Receive abundance of supply. Help from God. Begin to receive help from God. Help you have never seen before. Oh, Malika Rababa, Reno Shakata. Oh, 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 there is supernatural help, brethren. Yes, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you when a man is being helped by the Spirit. I can tell you, you are, hey, you are calculating your way, you are thinking, how will this be done? But there was a manifestation of help that changed the entire picture. Receive help. Receive help for the dreams in your heart. Receive help to accomplish things far beyond your natural capacity. I pray for you tonight. That as we are concluding the one of this prayer and prophesy, I decree that this month God will give you a visible testimony in your spiritual life, in your financial life, in your career life, in your job if you're here and you've been praying for direction 
receive direction. If you hear your praying for divine moments to meet you, receive in the name of Jesus. It's already happening right now. This is your divine moment. Receive in the name of Jesus. It is time, says the Spirit of the Lord, to start seeing fruit of your labor. Yes. It is time. From this meeting, I prophesy to you, you will begin to see the fruits of your labor. You begin to see the fruit of your seeds. You begin to see the fruit of kindness. You begin to see the fruit of commitment to Jesus. I bless you. Receive grace tonight. Receive strength tonight. Make progress in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay, quickly, we're going to give our offerings. We're going to give our offerings. Tonight is day one of this meeting. You can lift up your offerings and your tithes. You have to give. 